My name's Jacqueline Doughty and I'm Curatorial Manager at the Ian Potter Museum of Art. We're lucky to have in the University of Melbourne art collection a number of watercolours by an artist called Blumia Young. He painted a lot of beautiful landscapes but he doesn't really fit in the narrative that is usually told about the history of landscape painting in Australia. His emphasis was more on the internal world of the imagination and he preferred to paint from memory. Image making for Young was as much about playing with the possibilities of paint as it was about depicting a scene. He liked to mix washes of colour and tilt the paper while the paint was still wet so that the colours ran together. He'd then look to see what forms were suggested by the, these shapes that had been formed by chance and then he'd create a scene out of them. So he was really letting the paint guide him in how to develop the image. This work from around 1912 is called Myrtles and Pines and it was painted after a formative trip to Tasmania. He described this trip as a quest for greys and you can see from this work how he loved playing with gradations of colour and using the liquidity of the paint to um, make the forms flow into one another. So he was really responding to light and atmosphere in this landscape more than in its geographical features. So this work is called The Pasture Stance. Young was really skilled in building up layers of transparent washes to create an illusion of depth. And the result is these dreamlike images in which features of the landscape seem to emerge from a shimmering haze. And you can also see that he really uses the texture of the paper to create effects that look like foliage. So he's used a slightly paler um, wash over the top of a darker one and the way the paper rises makes it look like um, these are the, the leaves of the trees. And so you get a sense of raking sunlight and a stronger sense of um, the sun setting at the end of the day. So he was really skilled at capturing atmospheric effects. It's a very stylized and romantic vision of the Australian landscape. And it's also a masterclass in how to achieve different effects in watercolor.